Hello everyone. Today we are coming to you again for a new presentation. You can see that I'm having a sister at my side. She's my elder sister. We are the two persons that are making this channel. The ideas of this channel is coming from both of us. But because we are not living in the same country, I'm the only one you can see in videos. So today she has come to us with two testimonies. You can see how God can work powerfully. Uh, since I created this channel, I was looking for testimonies. Uh, I gave te two testimonies myself, but today she's coming to us with two testimonies at once. So let us start the first one. Good Welcome. morning, viewers. Thank you, my dear. Good morning, viewers. Morning. I'm um, here to give some two great testimony to the grace of by the grace of God. Amen. I'm going to give this testimony to the glory of God because shall I say since my childhood have seen the hand of God in my life. Yes. His blessing, his faithfulness to my prayers. But there are some two occasions whereby I will say that I saw Holy Spirit standing by me and guiding my steps. Amen. So the first one is um, related to my work. I was looking for work and should I say it was a very dry season for me. When you're looking for work, you don't have money, but you have to make photocopies of your certificates <laughs> and give it to people, not knowing whatever they are going to do with them. And yes. so it was in that season, I kept praying for God for work. And um, it came to our Lenten season, as we say in the Catholic Church, yes. fasting moment. And I decided not to fast, saying that I'm not going to eat, but I want to put a stop to some behaviors I knew that were not posting the grace and the glory of God in my life. For instance, I was saying that I talk too much, so I have to be silent. Yes. And my dressing wasn't all that um, well. <laughs> well, so I have to change my way of dressing. I mean, I have to dress decently. And those days, <laughs> I was making up <laughs> too much, so I have to reduce my makeup yes. or even stop it. So... It was around that moment that, by the grace of God, they yeah. called me for interview. I can see. Uh, can you imagine as a Balangwa secretary, I'm going to an interview. In a moment, I said I was going to dress like, dress like how all the Bible portrays and not put on makeup and to be yeah. silent. <laughs> so I finished dressing. I look at myself in the mirror, even though I wasn't satisfied with what I was saying, I just prayed to God that, God, I'm doing this for your glory, show the way forward. I still wanted to put on some makeup, but I said, no, God, I said at this period, I'm not going to make up, I'm mm -hmm. going to dress decently, so let me do it and see what God can do for me. Lo and behold, I went to the interview and my colleagues that I'm seeing sitting there, <laughs> I was nothing compared to them. So I wonder <laughs> if they should base on a look, I knew that no, never. it can't be me. <laughs> the choice can never fall on me. But I sat down and kept praying that God, you know that today I'm looking like this to show your glory. And I know you hold the heart of every human being. So please favor me. And it was on my turn when the administrator saw me. He just said, wow. And I was amazed. Who wow. can wow. he be wow on me? The way I was looking. But you know, when the glory of God dress you, you are glorious. Whether you know thing. it or not. <laughs> so the glory of God has dressed me. He said, wow, I was amazed. And he sent me to the interview room. They didn't ask me that much, many questions, just some few questions. And at the end of it all, you are already chosen. <laughs> I was already chosen, not knowing yes. because of how I wanted to be faithful to God. Right. 
So at the end of the interview, the ambassador just told me that uh, it will be you. And I say, wow, okay. thank you. And see, it will be you because uh, you look very humble for me and I like the way you are dressed. Yes. So God wanted to point it on me that it doesn't matter. So that you know that he's, he's the one, one working. working in my life. Yes. Exactly. So three days later, they called me for the work that my interview was successful to my shock. I went and they even told me, to God. hallelujah, <laughs> to my shock, they told me that my proposed salary, a man even remember and stated it exactly, that you are proposing this amount as salary, I say yes, you will be paid times three of that yes. to my shock. Wow. That's God. That's God at work. <laughs> that is God at work. And... <laughs> I gave myself faithfully to the work and three months later they still call me again and my salary has been increased. Yes. Wow. I've never <laughs> asked for any increment. In fact, I just started the work and they say no. Uh, the salary they were proposing to me and I was shocked was for the beginners and Seeing how I'm working, I deserve it an income. It was for trial. <laughs> so, uh, the salary has been increased mm -hmm. again for me to the glory of God. So, I'm here to tell you that that's what God can do for you. Whatever God say we should do, when you think it's good, do kindly it. just do it. Yes. Don't give a second thought of it. Just do it. Because the Bible says in Isaiah 55 verse 3, that yes. verse 8, pardon that his thoughts are not our thoughts, nor his mind our mind. Yes. So whatever God said that we should do and you think it's good, just go about doing it. Amen. He will shock you. He will surprise you Amen. agreeably. So my second testimony. Yes, the second one. <laughs> <laughs> to the glory of God is about my marriage and my birth given. Um, God's married to a man that shall I say our whole village or town believed that he was impotent. Yeah. And so uh, my if my parents knew it and yeah. they say, How come this is the man we are choosing? And I see he's lovable and we flow, so he should be the one I will marry. Mm. So in fact they gave me five years that if I don't give birth, I will see what will happen. Hey. So, so they, they themselves were convinced this, that, that I will never be I will never be able to give birth. Oh God. So I pray to God to shame the enemies, to shame the devil. Amen. And to his glory again, should Amen. I say, within a chink of an eye, or within few months after he has paid my bribe, I got pregnant even though we were not living together because I was living in another you country. You yourself were not believing that. <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes and I gave birth to a bouncing baby girl. Yes. So few months later, should I say before the first baby got in uh, one year, I was pregnant again, wow, not knowing because one. <laughs> I knew that God has done it and I have to pray and pray again before he do it for yes. me again. But no, God is God. Yes. Our God is ever faithful to his doing. So for the second time I got pregnant and this time I said oh no, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for this pregnancy. <laughs> Remind, remembering the painful <laughs> delivery I went through, I said no, let me rest more, I wasn't ready. So I talked to a friend and he told me, she told me rather that I can about it and later mm get pregnant again when That's I'm the ready voice of, of the, the devil, devil my dear <laughs> the voice of the devil so uh, we had a date on which she will send me for the abortion and when the date came I went to her workplace I was waiting for her knowing that what I was going to do doesn't agree with my faith or my yes, conscience yes. I was still there waiting for her and can you believe what happened? Mm. I saw a young lady holding a megaphone preaching on the sun and she walked to me. When I saw her, the, my, the thing came to my mind. I look at how people are looking for the kingdom of God on the sun. Look at what you are going to do. 
you were legally married woman yes. going to a board of the excess of the blessing of God. Yes. I wasn't still comfortable. So I say, hmm, God help me. See me through. This lady walked to me and in fact talked to me respectfully that she need my help. She need money to buy the battery of her megaphone because it was going low. So I gave her the money. As I was taking the money, I was still praying. So keep praying. Never cease praying. Amen. I was still praying to God that God, you can do it. Do it to your glory. In fact, I want to give this money so that you <laughs> you forget about the sin I'm going to commit. And <laughs> I gave her the money. She thanked me and left. And I was saying that now, if within five minutes my friend doesn't come, yes. I will just stand up and go. I'm not going to abort the baby again. When the devil is at work, the Holy Spirit is still fighting for us. So within some three minutes, my friend came and she said, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> the devil has come. <laughs> has come. But God is a winner. We are serving a winning, ever winning God. Amen. So she came before my five minutes that I gave, and we stood up and went. And when we went, come and see how the devil was giving me protocol. Yeah. I saw many ladies start lining up, waiting for their turn to be aborted of their pregnancies. Mm -hmm. But she said, no, they can wait. That she was the the doctor said he was waiting for me. I should come before them. Even those who were there before you, you came. I should come before them. I see they knew that my mind wasn't all that ready. And he wanted just to do it before I decide. Yes. I should sit down. One injection and it will be over. And I say, no, that I'm not ready. You know, when you are spiritually filled and you find yourself in an environment where the Holy Spirit is not working. You, you don't feel comfortable. That's it. I wasn't comfortable. And when I got there, the thing was just like, I should go back. And the man said, no, you are not going. I bought the injection because of you. So you pay me. I said, no, this is not a money problem. Yes. I gave him the money and he said he wanted to take my number to call me whenever I change my mind. I said, no, you don't worry. I would rather call you. What is problem about that? <laughs> So one injection, I don't want to take it. What is it? I say, no, thank you. You've taken your money, okay? I'll call you when if I change my mind. <laughs> so I left. And as I was going, yes. something told me, you just sacrifice a seed in the life of the baby amen, you are carrying. Amen, amen. So I just walked away and I decided not to abort again. Amen, My dear viewers, amen, amen. you need to view you need to have a look at the bouncing baby boy I had. And since the hand of God was in it, this delivery wasn't that painful again. Though it's painful, but not like the first one. I was pushed in by the grace of God, and before I realized, a very big baby. You delivered. <laughs> 3 kilos 90. Yeah, 3 kilo 90 or 80, something like that. I delivered it easier, pain. <laughs> easier than the first one. But they, so just keep on calling God. When he give away, follow it. Amen. Whether you know it's strange, it's not understandable or not, or what, just follow the Amen. way of God. And you see his hand at work in your life Amen. powerfully. How sweet is it, it is to serve God. <laughs> I thank you, almighty God. Amen. I thank you this <laughs> thank morning. You, Lord. So Lord, by his grace again, we are at the end of our video. Yes. <laughs> or do you have something to say? Yes. Okay, go on. Okay, thank you, followers. You have come at the ending of the video. So, like I was telling you, this is my co-worker. She has come to join us, and in a few times, she will be leaving again. So, thank you for watching us. To the end of this video i hope you will subscribe to see more and more powerful things god can do in, an, in our life our lives in our next videos bye bye bye